Today, we're experiencing $100 hospitality at Manchester City. We're here at the Etihad Stadium as we're about to experience $100 hospitality in Kits Bar in Level 2 East Stand. The hospitality ticket includes one free drink at half time, a padded seat on Level 2, and access to this really cool bar in Level 2. You can also pay for some extra food if you wish. Today, me, Gaz, and the fam are going to experience the tickets in hospitality as I've never been in hospitality in the Etihad today. We're playing Red Star Belgrade, who are the champions of Serbia and went last season undefeated in their title win. So will this hospitality package be worth $100? Let me know in the comments after you watch the video. It seems a perfect way to welcome back the champions of Europe to the Etihad Stadium. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And without further ado, it's time to get off to our $100 hospitality experience at the Etihad Stadium in the Kits Bar. Let's go! Well, we're on the approach now to the stadium. We're headed to East Ham reception, where we're heading inside. Very excited. The fans with us, so we're all gonna have a good day. Going up the spiral, which feels like a hundred dollar experience itself. Okay, we're here, we're in kits. We've got our meal. I've gone for a hot dog. Uh, the guys have gone for Lancashire pies, the pie of the day. We've got lamb as well. There's all sorts of food options. We've got a wristband and we've got a program as well. The atmosphere is pretty good here in kits. I mean, it's a bit busy though. It's quite busy. I thought it'd be a lot quieter than it would be today. But it is a European night. We may have a couple of Serbian Red Star fans in here. Well, we've got our own table. We've got a team sheet, obviously the program as well. But everyone's eating their food. And I'm just going to give a quick overview of the experience. It is very, very busy in here but it is a very, very nice place to watch. Well, we've got Sky Sports behind us, I won't show it all due to copyright, but it's a very, very relaxed, informal place to be able to come before the game, but it is a bit overcrowded in here for my liking and for Dad's as well, Dad said that at the bar. But we're hoping that we're gonna have a great view from the seat as well. I'll show you what these guys are having to eat. I've already ate my hot dog, I was too, it was too good, I needed it. Unlimited soft drinks for free as well, cheers to that. Okay, hospitality over, we've got our drinks to take outside, time to head out into our luxurious padded seat. I'll give an overview of the experience and then we'll crack on with the match vlog. And out come the champions of Europe with the Champions League trophy in the middle of the two teams. Here we go, it all starts again, the road to Wembley. Will City be there in May? Brilliant display from the South Stand again. With the flags and the scarves, let's go again. Can we talk about Rodri? He scored in Istanbul. The famous anthem again. But this time, we're the champions of it. Hospitality experience was pretty good. We got a fantastic view with a padded seat, of course, to see the champions of Europe back at the Etihad Stadium. I mean, it's going to be a good game. Red Star Belgrade of a very, very good team, uh, home in Serbia. I'm looking forward to head out there at the end of December. It's going to be a great trip, and we're going to have a good look at them today. We're going to see if they can potentially. I think they'll be targeting third. I think us and Leipzig should get through, but if they could get third over Young Boys, I mean Europa League football, maybe they could go on and win that. But they brought a fair few with them from Serbia today and they're making a racket as well as the South Stand. The City's Champions League campaign gets underway. Straight through to Edison. Here we go. Well, Red Star have started the game brightly, to be fair. They're playing some good football. I thought they'd sit back and defend and soak up pressure and hope City can't get through. But it's the opposite. They're playing some good triangles on the left-hand side and they're making some problems. The signature European jump here at the Etihad again. I mean, we do it, just we do it with our backs to the pitch and call it the Bosman. Rodgers got round! That is. Well, Rodri, who scored our last goal in the Champions League last year, nearly opened the account this year. Good save from the goalie. Alvarez, straight at the goalkeeper. Was a good run, but shot goes straight at the goalie. That's City football right there. Nunes is crossing in three Charlotte as well. He didn't expect it. Well, City are just searching for this opener and they've come close on multiple occasions. And Mateo Nunes is dictating this midfield. He's having a blind. They've played another beautiful ball through to Foden, who let it run. Haaland was in, but just couldn't get the ball out of his feet. That's twice Haaland wasn't expecting the ball. He needs a couple of games to start firing in at all cylinders. Foden yes. pulls it across. Yes. Haaland's there. Oh! So close. Hit the post. How close you want to get? Surely Haaland's going to score soon, right? It's luckily fell. We're going to get a chance from this. Oh, he's missed another one. 
the Norwegian Viking would probably have had a hat trick by now normally. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Like I said before, he needs a couple of games to warm up. Obviously, he's coming back from a, uh, a long, uh, long season out, off season. So, well, it's not like him, though. That's a cross. Oh, and somehow it's not gone in. For another night would be four, five, six up already. Harlem with a hat trick, and that one's a, the best chance of the game. Goalie did so well to save it, but you've got to bury the hat. Well, the Bernardo's not having a good game and he's just been dragged off. Pep completely ignored him going off. Oh, Red Star has scored, but it's offside. They're still going crazy. Look at them. They're going absolutely mental. Well, as if we've had that many chances and uh, Red Star Belgrade, well, originally took the lead, but it has been disallowed for offside. I'm not sure how far offside it actually is, but the fans are going crazy. They were so gassed. This isn't good news. It was tight, but I thought it was off. It's a goal. Belgrade lead. Now they can celebrate. Incredible. Of all the chances that we've had, we are a goal down to Red Star Belgrade. Well, we have missed so many chances. Ireland with a hat-trick of chances missed. Foden, Alvarez, Sergio Gomez, you name it, we've missed them. And they take a chance on the counter-attack. And one-on-one -on -one against Edison. Unfortunately, I don't fancy Edison. I always fancy the striker and the striker put the ball in the back of the net. I think it was Becker, I'm not too sure, but the Red Star Belgrade fans are now resuming their mentalness and limbs and carnage in the away end as the Serbians take the lead. And you know what? They've defended well. They've relied on their goalkeeper, who's made some really good saves, and they've caught us on the break. Could that unbeaten run keep going? Well, it's Bakari who's got the goal, not Becker. And he took it really well, to be fair. Great pace and great composure. And that's our time. Our time. And it is 1-0 to Belgrade. And these boys are loving it. I don't blame them. OK, so half time, we are back in kits. We get one free beer or white wine. You're choosing. I mean, you could be cheeky and go up a few times. So that's for any of you guys that are coming in kits. You could probably go up a few times and uh, get yourself about 10 bottles of beer if you really wanted to. Anyway, what I've seen on the pitch is dire. Not our sort of standards. I mean, we have had the chances. We've had about six, seven, eight, nine, ten, And they've had one and they took it. And it was a good goal. Um, yeah, nothing really Edison could do. I mean, I never fancy Edison on a one-on-one -on -one anyway, but he made it, He tried to make himself look big, but unfortunately, it was just calm and composure. And Belgrade lead, I mean, it was checked from VAR. It must have been close. I haven't seen it, so I have to see it. But, yeah, we're 1-0 down. Harlan missed about three chances. Foden had a great header at the back post. that has got to go in the back of the net. And, uh, yeah, we're 1-0 down. Let's hope for a better second half. We're going to need it. We're still in the bar, but Julian Alvarez has scored. We've just seen it on TV. 1-1. We're back in this game. Let's get outside. Well, I can describe the goal. It was a brilliant little one-two between him and Harlan, but Alvarez kind of scuffed it, or it's a brilliant dink, and it's in the back of the net. Right, we're heading out. I'm sorry I missed that goal. One-one. All right, we're back out. Let's have another goal, and that will take us into the lead. Walker's in. Oh, he's got another chance! Yeah, I think that one was the correct call offside. Can we turn this game round? I'm hoping so. We've got a brilliant record here at the Etihad. 27 unbeaten. I think it's 27 consecutive wins in the Champions League. Oh, goalkeeper spilled it. What a save. Great kick for City. Oh, it's all the way in. What a goal from Alvarez. I definitely think that's a shot. I think it's a brilliant goal. He led that. He had a really good free kick against West Ham. That hit the post. And he's bagged his second for tonight. That's a stunner. He met that brilliant goal. Finesse right into the corner. Goalkeeper confused whether it's going to be a cross or a shot. And he's beaten. Oh, what a ball that is. And that's another brilliant save. And Haaland just can't score tonight. Just not Haaland's night, is it? Another brilliant ball from Walker. Another brilliant save from the goalkeeper. Rodri. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Can we talk about Rodri? Well, can we talk about Rodri? He scored in Istanbul and he scored today. And it was a similar goal, you know. We placed it in with his right foot right into the corner. Brilliant goal, 3-1. Great second half turnaround. Lovely finish from our Spanish man. Well, Oscar Bob, Rico, Lewis and Calvin Phillips coming off the city. I mean, we're going to get the players rested ahead of the weekend. Well, we're into three minutes of added time and I think City have been brilliant in this second half. Managed to get the job done, obviously. Uh, showed good character from obviously going 1-0 down uh, against the run of play, but a good counter-attack from Red Star Belgrade. It shows how dangerous that they can be, but we are handing them their first loss of this season and last season. Uh, well, they might have lost this season. I haven't checked the table based on this year, but they were unbeaten last year and we're going to make sure that we start our Champions League defence with a win here at the Etihad. That's it, the win's secured. City 3, Red Star Belgrade 1.
Well, the boys did a good performance, considering after a poor first half, a great second half, especially from Julian Alvarez, man of the match performance. We get that win. So there we go, they're full time at the Etihad. 3 1 win, coming from 1 0 down, a superb second half. Two goals from Julian Alvarez and then a good goal from Rodri. I'll tell you what, that free kick from Alvarez was fantastic. Great character for the boys going 1 0 down. I mean, Belgrade took their goal brilliantly, uh, but we managed to get the result. We start off our Champions League defence with a win. That is a good win as well. Hope for many more this Champions League campaign. So that is going to bring an end to today's video. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash like, hit that big red subscribe button. Let me know in the comments, is this kit's experience worth a hundred dollars this experience could cost up to three hundred dollars for a premier league game especially against liverpool united or arsenal whether it's worth 300 i don't think so but if i got my money's worth tonight i would say so if you guys have enjoyed smash the like and i'll see you guys for arsenal psv tomorrow peace out